Hello and welcome to the Trash Talk Podcast. I am your host, JJ, and with me today I have Sergey. Hello, Sergey. Hello, hello. Today, big shocker. I think I introduced it similarly to that actually last week. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing more of these friendship questions. <laughs> I swear to God, we'll do other stuff in the future. Yep. But, you know, sometimes we get stuck on themes and uh, this is one of those. Um, but they do be interesting. Yeah, I, I do find them interesting as well. Uh, I haven't apparently quite found the way to sell them to people yet. As in, like, not literally sell, but like as in, you know, to sell it, as in to get people to click on the video. Yeah. So, uh, that's a work in progress. But, but if I mean, you're at this, least we're learning stuff video. about each other. Ooh. I, I feel like at this point we're just doing this for ourselves. Um, but hey, I mean, just pulling a back catalog. I mean, I've been doing it for ourselves, like, for a long time. I mean, yeah. Um, it's a lot easier that way. What is my most embarrassing childhood memory? Oh, yeah, by the way, we're asking questions about know. each other both ways. That's how this works. We're keeping score. Yeah. I'm leading. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. Which yeah, I, I have about? no idea. Especially since um, Sergey has been present and recorded a lot of these podcasts before he was actively a part of it, where this sort of stuff, I mean, maybe not this one in particular, but like those sort of questions do come up. And so, in theory, Sergey would have more of an avenue to know shit about me than me about him. And yet... In theory, yeah, but practice, uh, I was doing work backstage. I mean, yes, but I do for a fact know that there was times when you were literally just sitting there listening to the podcast while it was being recorded. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, I'm pretty sure yes. we made a gag about, like, the Trash Talk podcast is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Um, right now yep. it's not. Unless you have multiple times the two of us, but um, okay. <laughs> so your answer was you don't know. That was your answer. Yeah, no, I I have no idea. I guess I gotta give you a point for that <clears throat> because the thing is, right? The things I do like, I don't remember anything specific. I can tell you that I said dumb shit a bunch and that that felt embarrassing in the moment, but there's nothing yeah. that I have like enough hangups about. To, like, specifically remember it. So, it couldn't have been that bad. I mean, obviously, there is, definitionally, it being a superlative, there has to be a most embarrassing memory, right? Well, I mean, I guess, mm-hmm. we, I guess that is assuming that I have memories. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> out of all the memories I have, one of them has to be the most embarrassing. But since I cannot p- recall any particular embarrassing memories, I kind of have to go with that... I- I remember saying wrong things at times, and that's always embarrassing. But, like, you learn, right? And you live and you learn. Um, and I'm gonna say, because I also don't have a generic guess for this, I'm just gonna say it's the same for you. You get a point. <laughs> um, same explanation. I I have, like, multiple instances of, of me saying dumb stuff. Either because I legitimately thought that um, that stuff was correct, or it was just not paying attention. Oh, yeah, that, that's also good. Or, or also just misspeaking. So, yeah. When you meant to say one thing, but you ended up saying another that, one. Oh, God. Uh, um, yeah. And sometimes even realizing only like a minute later that you misspoke. Yeah. Oh, my, my favorite thing uh, in a similar a vein, uh, not necessarily embarrassing, <clears throat> but always a bit awkward, is always whenever someone says something to you and you're like only half hearing it, and you're like, what do you say? And then as they're starting to say it again, your brain finally pieces together the bits you got, and you now now no, no, you actually know what I might die. Yeah, yeah. Happens. <laughs> Happens way too much for me. Anyways, um mm-hmm. what is the Oh no, there it is. Uh what do I love most about myself? 129 question mark? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, that exact number is um, <laughs> the bane of my existence, but... Uh... <laughs> so, yeah, I mean... <laughs> what, what Sergei is alluding to is intelligence. Uh, 
we have yeah. uh, <laughs> Sergey, myself, and Alex. Sergey, Alex, and myself have taken an a test to determine our intelligence quotients. That, that is to say, IQs. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, that that, that <laughs> was the result for me. Uh, now Mensa wanted me to have one thirty from them to allow them to for them to allow me to join them. I clearly can't inform basic sentences, so yeah. I guess good that I didn't make it. <laughs> um, and so yeah, one twenty nine was they made the right choice. One twenty nine was like obviously a really good result, but also like <laughs> kind of the worst result you can get, right? I mean, obviously, like if you if it's just like oh mm-hmm. you're like absolutely stupid, like that's also not great, but like. Oh yeah, no, we, we would totally take you if you had one more point. Mm-hmm. What? It's so frustrating. Sink. <laughs> point. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what do you love most about yourself? Let me think. Um. Mm. Now there is always the possibility of being lazy and going with the same answer, but. I'm saying maybe that's no, not the case. No, no, no. It, it's not the same answer. It would be like what one nineteen instead. You, you know what I mean, right? Uh, <laughs> and so, since I have a tendency to, if I'm not sure, to just not go with the same answer that I was gonna would gonna give because, <laughs> well, also at that time Shouldn't I had the assumption that I ask you first. Um, I'm gonna say it's your composure. Yeah. Composure. That, that, yeah, I, I do like that about myself, too. I wrote down being a relatively quick learner, because that kind of relates to intelligence in a way, but not directly. Yeah. But, yeah, um, now that you mentioned that, I, I do like that about myself. Yep. Staying calm is really, really nice. Yes. I mean, I, I'm similar, I think, in that regard. I mean, I I can get myself worked up, especially uh, on the podcast that has happened quite a few times. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I still also think that I have decent composure. But uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, how many points do I get for that? Uh, one. I mean, yeah, obviously that was the max. Um, what is one thing that I would change about myself? Uh probably your laziness. Because that is probably the one thing that's hindering you most in life. So, I'm tempted to say you're right. It's not, that's not technically what I wrote, wrote down for, <laughs> uh, actually, a uh, very simple reason. But, I mean, I guess realistically that would be kind of up there. The problem with that is always uh, mental self-preservation. Like, if I wasn't lazy, would I yeah. even still be me, right? Obviously, it's not exactly a likable quality, but that doesn't mean that I would want to change it. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn on that one. Uh, I mean, guess yeah, what I wrote I down? You. I wrote down wealth. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it, it's just... A, Is like, that even changing something about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> the amount of dollar bills in my bank account, which is currently at zero, but mostly just because we use euros around here. Um... But, <laughs> okay, yeah, I know, I know, I know. It can be converted. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think, realistically, that's the correct answer. I think I'm going to give you a point for that. But, um, I mean, I would have probably gotten with something like wealth, mortality, you know, like, something, like, silly. Um, the- mortality? Yes! I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be, but how really immortal and that I can't die in any circumstances. We've talked about that. God damn it, yeah, no, if, if I could, like, just choose to not die of natural causes, that would be great. That'd be amazing, yeah. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we've had that in the superpower category. But, like, w- with that ability, like, wealth just comes naturally, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, but there's also inflation. Yeah. Like, just, I don't know, buy, like, half a Bitcoin or something. Just let it sit. Um, yeah. I mean, like, there is no such thing as a completely risk-free investment, but... I mean, yeah, sure. Given sufficient time, there's a lot of things that would seem to be pretty risk-free, especially since if you invest in something like, for example, um, 
like a fucking stock. What are they called? Uh, like index a, fund. Like a fund, yeah, exactly. Like an index fund where uh, if you invest in something like the MSI world, it's like, oh, yeah, the only way this is really going to like take a continued downturn, right? I mean, yeah, it's gonna, it fluctuates, but overall it trends upwards, mm-hmm. and it has forever. Well, as long as it has existed. And the thing is, if that, like, after 100 years is down from where it started, then I think you have more things to worry about than what, how you're investing your money, right? So, there's some relatively yep. safe investments. Um, I, I, I think the thing you would want to change about yourself, to come back a little bit more to the topic, is get this your laziness slash procrastination it, it's a it's kind of the same thing um actually not even um <laughs> i would change about myself my fucking inability to write stuff oh i have this big big problem of not being able to write certain kinds of texts like at all and uh, this a list of certain kinds of texts is pretty much everything anything that goes beyond a few text things message. that i am able to write what <laughs> anything that goes beyond a text message <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yep yep Ooh, i gotta write something that's more than two sentences i don't know about this <laughs> I mean, I, I have gotten relatively okay at writing business emails. Oh. But, yeah. All, also, only because I had to do that, like, pretty much every day for three years. Yeah, I mean, that does In my apprenticeship. It. Yeah. I mean, that's but the thing. it still takes quite a bit of mental energy to do. Realistically. I mean, I, to some degree, the laziness thing as well. Uh... Those are things that you can train and you can improve, which is always. Yeah. I am not a big fan of saying I want to change something about myself that I can change and then go on and not change it, right? Like, I, I clearly don't really want to change it that much if I'm not changing. I mean, the, the whole laziness procrastination thing is less something that you like 100% change, mm-hmm. uh, but more something that you cope with and work around. You can, to some degree, change it a little bit, but only so much, because it also takes energy to actively go against that. Um, but yeah, uh, the writing thing is a lot of it is practice. Like you could definitely. It is a lot of practice, but like I would have to practice every type or even subtype of text separately. Uh, to some degree, yes. Because my brain just does not pick up on these kinds of patterns for some reason. Um, I definitely know that if I was better at writing, specifically uh, creative writing, I would have probably actually written something. Um, see, let's talk about that for a second. Uh, it's not quite the end of the year, so technically. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, I said at the beginning of the year, oh, I would yeah. love to write a book, right? I, I, think, I think I said I was gonna, like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, like, I, I, I said it was my least realistic goal, but maybe, like, a first draft of a book. And I've written thus far yep. about one page of story notes and not a single word of actual, like, prose. So, you know, that is absolutely nothing. Yeah. Um, because I always get ideas, uh, mostly for like world building stuff, but I can't for the life of me write a good story. Yeah. Um, and again, right? Understandable. Practice, kind and, like, of. The, the solution to this would not yeah, have been to just put it off, but rather to just keep working on it until it's until it's acceptable but uh uh yeah that didn't really happen um i mean my strategy would have probably just been working top down like getting a basic outline of the story and like i don't know half page of bullet points then like expanding on those bullet points one by one yeah and expanding on those sub bullet points and like doing it that way yeah i mean so you kind of have like multiple sub points for each chapter or something i don't know yeah yeah obviously and what i was gonna what i was thinking about was actually just another adaptation of a classic tale so it would have like actually been possible to like i mean if nothing other could have literally stolen the outline 
But I, we're talking about like a public domain work here. Yeah. I could have literally taken it and just rewritten it the way I wanted to. Um, would have had to find Definitely. it sufficiently old telling. Yeah. Can't just steal the modern telling because those are still copyrighted even if the characters within them are not. It's a whole mess. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, um, writing is definitely one of those things where I too would probably like to improve. And again, I'm I'm saying that, and I know that I probably won't that much unless I'm like. <laughs> there are so many things that you would like to do as a person, and only so much time you have to actually do those things. And of course, that to some degree in and of itself yep. is a bit of an excuse because if you really want to do it, you would prioritize it and you would do it. Um, I have other things that I am prioritizing over that that I am doing, right? So it's not like I'm not doing anything. Um. Huh? But yeah. Um how about we do one one or two more of these and then go to the halftime show? These podcasts have a tendency to go go relatively long because the halftime show is relatively long at the moment. As a matter of fact, let me see how long we've been. Oh true, doing yeah. This. Kind of forget about that. Uh yeah, I've been doing that for about fifteen minutes, so actually we have a couple more uh yeah minutes to do. Uh I really hope that didn't I don't think I messed with the video. <laughs> Because my window with the preview uh, resized slightly, but I don't think it should matter for the output, I think. I don't know. Uh, so, anyway, what do you think would I get it a two off if I were to get it a two? This is another tricky one. At the same time, I feel like we might have talked about this before. I'm not sure if we have, but we might have. Might have. Um, it feels like we did, but like maybe like when we barely knew each other. Yeah, it's possible. It also feels like one of those things that we would talk about at like 3 a.m. Uh, like, like after <laughs> having maybe recorded a podcast or two and done some other shit and then like, you know, we're sitting there at 3 a.m. looking at, well, I'm actually gonna, um, and, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go with that particular anecdote, uh, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, and like, you know, <laughs> yeah, anyways. You know what? I feel like there, not gonna saying gonna it makes it almost sound a worse that's... than saying it. <laughs> So, um, we will reveal that in one of the next questions. That fits kind of well. If I'm thinking of the thing you're thinking. I don't think so. Um, unless I missed huh. something. Oh, 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 that, yeah, yeah, it's in the next block. Yeah, I was looking at the website and they're, they're, they're spreading, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, what was I? You're tapped, right. Uh, you are getting a tattoo of... A dragon. I don't know. Nah. The best part is that it's not even what I wrote down, but uh, I, uh, that's what I'm going with. Yeah. Uh, what you written down, wrote down? I'll tell you that after you've guessed. Mostly because okay. I couldn't come up with something particularly great for myself, so I went with something that's closely related to that. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'd probably um, get a tattoo of like some cryptic joke. Oh. Not only be the joke being cryptic, but like it being encrypted in something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, g- yeah. get a lost tattoo. <laughs> I've seen it, it, the, the, the four pattern comic. It, it, the, the, I think it's a Penny Arcade thing. Uh, it's an internet meme. Okay. I think people have literally started expressing that at some times with, like, just a couple lines, and people, like, you'll get it. It's a, it's a whole thing. Um, okay, that's definitely not even close to anything I would have guessed. Uh, what would I get as a tattoo? Um. I don't know. Um, probably some... Like thinking in the same direction, some kind of ma- math joke. Not the I don't know. I would have probably gone with um. So I first of all, I don't have any plans to get tattoos, which is why I haven't really thought about this too much. Which is why it's hard for me to yeah, get like same. a good answer. Um, I said I might go with something like a D twenty, but like just because you know I like the indie. It's a Ooh. Thing. Um. Yeah. And so the thing I had originally I written down could have you, guessed that. Uh, is actually the the freaking dice set sword thing where they have like 
the D20 and the D12 and the D10 and the D6 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and the D6 and the D4. And like, because the D4 has a point at the bottom, they like make it like vaguely in the sword shape and then sometimes they draw like a hilt on it and stuff. You mm-hmm. draw a hilt on it and then it looks like yeah, a sword yeah, yeah. with all the dice. Uh, but I intentionally, for my, for my own one, went for something small. Because if I were to get a tattoo, it would probably be a small one. So, uh, you know, the, the, the whole die sword is a bit much. <laughs> so the, the single D20, probably like just like the shape and then just the number 20 on the front side and the other face not even labeled because depending on the size, it would probably look better that way anyways. Um, oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, I, I should have guessed that. Like, retrospectively, that seems like the thing you would do. <laughs> right? Like, it, it is kind of... Again, it, it's, just, it's a stereotypical <laughs> thing, and it's not that clever. Um, let's do one more, and then we'll move on to the halftime show. Um, what sure. one person has influenced me the most? Uh, um that that stuff is kind of hard to tell um i'm gonna assume you're because i don't think you're generally influenced a lot by people like don't take influence a lot from like individual people i guess but realistically (laughs) speaking it's probably one of your parents i i need you to pick one (laughs) Uh, um I don't know, um, probably your mom? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I feel like that's a no-brainer, right? I feel like most people will have been most influenced by their parents. That's kind of... Yeah. real. If, if we're being realistic, especially, like, at our age, where, you're, first of all, your childhood is always going to be one of the most impactful aspects of your life, no matter how old you get. But especially... If you yep. are at a relatively younger age, like, I mean, I'm 23, so I guess 21, um, we're, like, not that far removed from our childhoods, let's be realistic, and that is still something that I feel like my childhood informed a lot of what of how I am today, and even if I didn't feel that way, it probably would still be the case. Um, now, that can vary from person mm-hmm. to person, especially if uh, your life moved in a very different direction after that. Um, for example, uh, something that I've uh, been a little bit interested in that I've seen some stuff on is uh, people that grow up, for example, in uh, fundamentalist religions and then later leave that group will oftentimes change quite a lot after their faith has been deconstructed. Uh, and so they might not have been the most influenced by their parents after that because the influence from their parents a lot, a lot oh, yeah, yeah. is also getting shed in the process. But um, for, I think for most people, it's got to be their parents. Which is also, of course, um, what I'm saying for you, which, um, ah, fuck, we talked about that. We're like, uh, the person, we, we, got- we had a similar question that relates to this. Um, and I think that- so, yeah. But I also answered with my mother, and um, I can't remember what you said when I guessed your father, and I could have just scrolled up and seen if I got points for that. Is that cheating? Maybe. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to say it's also your mother. Because I have written down your father. Yeah. But, um, I remember when we talked about it last time, and I was something, uh, what's the question actually? Uh, or a favorite relative, right? And uh, so. What is your favorite re- relative? Yeah. Yeah. And so, I feel like that doesn't have to be the same person, mind you. The, like, someone can influence you in a negative way, someone can influence you, and you still like someone else better. Like, that's probably fine. But I feel like there is a logical relation, especially if you like that person, you're more likely to be influenced by them. And, um, Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, so you said yes, so that's also another point. And let me just, just for expectations, I changed that. I didn't change some of the others, but... Uh, and that brings us to the halftime show. Oh, do we want to go over points first? We should probably go over points first, right? Uh, I uh, guess, yeah. Yeah, Sergey got four. You five, have, five, according to my count. Oh, uh, the new one. The new ones? Uh, yeah, I mean, overall, uh, 17.67 and 21.25. I think Sergei will say it's 21.58. Um, yes. I should probably just into that third of a point, wherever that is, uh, so that we don't have that discrepancy. Why is that third of a point that, I'm, that I don't have? Uh, I think... One second. 
Is it the birthday one? Uh, I think it's a birthday one. It's possibly the birthday one. Uh, da, 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 da. Question number eight. Uh, what do you say? Oh yeah, it's number eight. Question yes. number eight. Let me just enter that point three three, and now I also have it saying that I have twenty one point five eight points, which is hopefully what your notes are saying as well. And so we're in yep. agreement on that. Sergey has seventeen point six seven points, having gotten, as I said, four to five of the ones that we have talked about right now. I got three to five, which means Sergey's catching up. Um, hmm. and I was gonna pull up the halftime show because I'm very well prepared, and I totally did not just pull it up right Facts. now. Facts. Facts. Hey, so yes, saving my lack of paper. No, I already pulled it up. But um, we can still do facts for us because that is how the show works. It's not like I've done this for 230 yeah, yeah. weeks in a row. Now the join the 31st. <laughs> and I would know by now. Well, actually, we only changed the order of that like 100 episodes ago or so. So it's relatively new for me. I don't know when exactly yeah. we changed it, but it's very possible <laughs> that I have actually done it more often with facts after the halftime show than before. You probably have, yeah. Um, I, I don't think we, we've changed it that far back. Yeah, that being said, anyway, so what is your fact of the week? I should probably put up the correct document. I mean, um, you do know Daft Punk, right? Yes, the French pop whatever band. French? I didn't know they were French. Yeah, Daft Punk are French. But anyway... They're a... What is that? Um, like, I don't even know it's not even pop. It's like some sort of electro duo or whatever. Yes, I know Daft Punk. Yeah, good. Up, like, a uh, I don't actually... Oh. <laughs> I'm so... Not, no, I'm just teaching you a bunch of things <laughs> that is maybe possibly related to your fact. <laughs> uh, not at all. Um, so, and you know what anime is, right? What? Anime? No. <laughs> yes, yes I do. <laughs> <laughs> but did you know that Daft Punk released their own anime? It's it is that I've seen a... something about that, but I don't remember seeing something about that. It's an hour-long movie um, featuring... All the songs from their album Discovery. Okay. And it's actually not even bad. Maybe it's I'll watch pretty it. good. <laughs> it's not like I don't spend half my days <laughs> watching just random TV shows and movies. Well, I say random, but though, be prepared. It does not have any vocals except for like in the songs. Okay. Of their album. So it's really just a fast music video for the entire album. Basically, yeah. Because I mean, it, it also does not feature any sounds in, inside the animation. Except for, like, I think two occasions, which on those two occasions feels really, really weird. Yeah. Because the whole movie is, like, basically silent except for the music playing. Like, suddenly you have some sound, some, like, what? Foley? think it's called not sure on that um, yeah but it does tell a coherent story which is pretty pretty cool that is something that i like in my stories <laughs> um yeah my, my of the week is about something completely different uh have you heard of the video game hearthstone yeah. Okay, I mean, so again, doesn't know enough about Hearthstone for be a good game to base your shell around. Uh, or maybe not. Or not. Uh, <laughs> well, since we have for a while based our channel around that, and that is where our viewers come from, I hope that you, the viewer, you, the viewer, will understand what I'm getting at when I say that in Hearthstone, uh, there is a card type called Hero Cards. You should be familiar with them. I'm, again, I'm talking to the viewers. Um, and yeah. those replace your hero, which has the interesting effect that if your hero is frozen and you play a hero card, the new hero is not frozen, as in playing hero card unfreezes you. 
it's not that hmm. surprising, but I hadn't really considered it. And um, I thought it was pretty cool, especially, you know, since Jaraxxus, for example, gives you a weapon. I think there's some others that also do. Um, so it actually matters. Um, I did once win a match be- yeah. uh, because of that. I mean, I probably would have won it the round after anyways, but I would have I won it the round earlier because my Jaraxxus have froze me. Uh, that last part is just a personal anecdote that relates to the fact, but that's a fact. I swear to God, Sergei, there's going to be people who will like this fact. <laughs> I know. Um, let me do this. Uh, we are doing Sunday Crosswords. We last... Did you do the math? No, we did not. We did beat around the bush, didn't we? Which means we're now doing it all adds up. Oh, God. Did you see what I just saw? Uh, no. 15 minutes. Most of them are tell. 20. And I think last time we had the 18 minute one, yeah. time actually ended up being a bit of a factor, despite the fact that it was basically a full size grid. <laughs> so, it's very possible that we're getting a full size grid with less time. You gotta go. Also, generally, yeah. the slower ones, uh, the faster ones, even if they are in smaller grids, we usually still end up struggling more with, with having set points, so this will be fun. But I'm already talking way too much because the t- topic is already going to be over 15 minutes long um let's close this ad um and oh god this grid the, the, the squares are really small the grid it looks yeah, like I'm gonna be, be relying on you to read out the questions I mean you can because must... I can't actually read stuff no okay I mean you should be able to have full screen in theory but hey um Curtain I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm in full screen, but resolution. Uh, down is comfy furniture, which is like a really long word. Um, Chinese dialect. Mm. Is it uh, Canto- Cantonese? It is. Uh, yeah. Pitching lineups or planetary spins? Oh, so the two. Pitching lineups. Or planetary spins, I think those are two separate hints. Add some numbers. Uh, curtain calls, I already said. Uh, sacred yeah. or safe place is a sanctuary? It's not a sanctuary. Not quite. Oh, is it a sanctum? It is. If you hadn't Ooh. said not quite, I would probably not have gotten that. <laughs> um, <laughs> thus far. Being helpful without even realizing. Yet. That is not a why. Yet. Um, cash dispenser is an ATM. ATM. Uh, Zagreb's country. <laughs> uh, where's Zagreb? Sorry, it's somewhere in the east of Europe. Where's Zagreb? I have never heard of that. I'm pretty sure it's in Eastern Europe. I'm pretty sure it's the capital. I am bad at geography. So am I, which is... I do not know. So for a couple of furniture, we have the SY in there, and for pitching line of planetary spin, we have S... We have... Is it something star? Planetary spin, star... No, it, that doesn't make sense. Don't stay... Huh? Um... And add some numbers has a double M in there. Whatever that means. Uh, add some mm-hmm. numbers, which ends in an E. I still don't know how to use those hints. Uh, disorder that can cause abdominal pain ends with an S. It's IBS? Irritable bowel syndrome. Um, oh, okay. Uh, silent ascent. Three letters. Equine competitor. Is it a racehorse? It is. Equine means horse. Equine? Like. You know how uh, okay. feline re- re- refers Did to cats, canine refers to dogs, yeah, 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 yeah. refers to horses. Um, song sung by Phoebe on Friends. A show that I have not seen. 
Neither have I. Marge Simpson's sister to Lisa. I assume it's aunt and then maybe her name? But I'm not a Simpsons expert. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, Landmass uh, containing Andorra and Bhutan. Uh, is that the Iberian Peninsula? Iber... That Iber... Rihanna? I don't know. But, no, where's Bhutan anyways? That's not, that's not on the Iberian... Wait, Andorra is in between... In between France and Spain. What the fuck is Bhutan? Oh, is it... Wait, is it uh, Eurasia? I was about to say, I, I, I don't even think Bhutan is in Europe. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's, it's in Asia. Big brand move. Uh, what, what is Bhutan? It's a country. Anyway. Oh. In Asia, I think. Yeah. Uh, dirty or soiled. Is it unclean, maybe? Unclean? That uh, would fit, yep. Bowl cut stooge. As in a stooge with a bowl cut, presumably. Uh, blazing is probably lit, as the kids would say. Uh, plays Andy Bernard on The Office. Sergey, have you seen The Office? I have not. I have wanted to do, to watch it multiple times, but never actually ended up uh, watching Network for that. American Dad since 2014 is maybe CBS? Nope. What else ends in BS? Uh, have we actually looked at these short down ones? We have not. I don't think so. Lang Lingus Irish Carrier. I think those are also the only short down ones, aren't they? I know this one as well. Painful P problem is a UTI, urinary tract infection. Uh, mm -hmm. And formerly called, uh, maybe Ni for born. Yeah, that's a birth name. Uh, specifically, in this case, for women, because it's with two E's. It's French, it's all thing. Adds a number, starts with E. Okay. Uh, Silent Ascent starts with an N. Uh, Song Sang by Phoebe on Friends starts with an S and has one blank and then EL. Uh, purpose or objective is aim. And yeah, the on starts presumably with on. Uh, blank, we there yet are. I, I, I should really pay more attention to the short ones, man. Um. Anyways, I guess let's move on to. You know, let's have a quick look at yeah. these again. Uh, at least at this one, comfy furniture ends in IR, and ne the network ends in B. I already said that. And then let's look at the score. Add some numbers. I'm second letter is an A. Upper limb is an arm. Uh, one encouraged to drink on the job. One encouraged to drink on the job. Um, Trent Reznor band. Uh, yeah, the song has an extra A at the end, that doesn't help. Is it like Selma or something? I feel like there was a Selma in... Yes. Okay. I... I'm still not that good at the whole Simpsons thing. Uh, I would not have guessed that. Uh, the ads of numbers thing now has AL in there, I still don't know what it's supposed to be. Uh, one encourage to drink on the job now has an extra A there. Uh... Uh, right, we looked at Clueless. You know, like us right now. Uh, Fleur D is presumably Lys. It's the symbol of the uh, French aristocracy. Uh, Kazakh dessert. Hey, Sergey, you're Russian. That's basically Kazakhstan. Uh, <laughs> can you name a Kazakh dessert? I know it's not, but um, their names. I'd have to get... Yeah, um, I wait, mean, we wait, share a lot of desert, desserts. Actually, come to think of it, is dessert two S in des uh, dessert? Or am I getting that backwards? No, no, that that's correct. Uh, desert, Kazakh uh, desert. Okay, I, I do not know. Barbuda's partner. Pain from a loud noise. Maybe ringing, like your ears are ringing. No, but it fits. Yeah. Um, if you 
at any time come up with anything. Tinnitus. You can feel free to tell me what. Tinnitus. Tinnitus. Oh yeah. Uh, let's try that. Tinnitus. No. It's a great guess, and it also fits. But no. Uh. Hmm. Down again. Sluggish. Listless. Historical zenith. Semicolon, the best of times. Uh, well, the Kazakh desert we looked, a uh, desert we looked at. Um, work that isn't particularly heavy or demanding. Is it busy work? That's not a U. That does not fit. Is busy swap a 2S? That looks wrong. No. That is something else. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, okay. Hey, I have a question for you. Tokyo's <laughs> old name. Come on, you're a weeb. You should know this. Um, <laughs> I think I've heard it before, but I don't know. Three letters. Uh, play that introduced the word robot. Add some numbers. Uh, keep what, what, out. What, 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 what? What was numbers. the robot one? Uh, oh, the, a play that introduced the word robot. It's three letters. Play. Presumably theater. Uh, uh, keep out. Yeah. In quotation marks. Blank Tintin. Uh, drunk motorists offense briefly is a DUI. Driving under the influence. Uh... Where to find a judge? Court. Court. Room? No. No. I was gonna go for courtroom, but that's too long. And court is too short. Um. Phrase used to speed up your horse. Often used by Kramer on Seinfeld. Deep fried burger topper. Matrix protagonist is Neo. Uh, Neo, yeah. Older brother of Glowin in The Hobbit. I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right. Uh, Hobbit character three letters. Um, and given punishment after a trial is presumably sentenced. Yes! Um, so, nice. pitching run up for planetary spins ends in ns. Oh, it doesn't even work. Uh, I don't know, man. Plan planetary spins. Uh, add some numbers. I, I still don't know what they want from us with that. I have no clue. Uh, I mean, yeah, we've looked at all of those before. It's mostly just the ones that we have some new letters for that we can look at. But uh, keep out now has an E there. Where to find the judge is a C there. Uh, phrase used to speed up your horse. Here's another add some numbers. One encouraged to drink at the job. Songs. The, the song sung by Phoebe on Friends. Uh, yeah, then another numbers thing. Silent Ascent starts with an N. Bowl cut stooge ends with an N. Who are the acro long cross ones on the right? Um, work that isn't particularly heavy or demanding. Okay. And add some, add some numbers, numbers, which is always what the what's the top one? Uh, this one, deep fried burger yep. topper. A uh, deep fried burger topping. Ah, uh, god! Wait, wait, is it is it tin tin tin? No clue. It's not tin tin tin. That would have been too easy. Okay. <laughs> would have been cool. The thing is, I can't. I don't. 
I, I don't know anything else. And, like, this seems, like, particularly bad. Like, we haven't done this oh, poorly yeah, yeah. in a while. We are yeah. rather clueless, if you will. Oh, I think the uh, top one down uh, at some numbers is summation. Oh. So is it just... That's not an I. Uh, um, and so, wait, oh, so there's okay. other words for summing Perfect. then? Is it, wait, is it enumerate? That is not... Yeah. Okay, um, what else do we have? <laughs> oh, actually, let me look at this one again. Uh, Bullcut Stooge. I still don't know. Uh, plays, the, uh, okay, as an actor, I guess. Uh, comfy furniture ends in air. Now. And TBS is the thing which we just incidentally found. Uh, I still don't know what that is, the furniture. Despite the fact that we have so many letters and all. Also, we have some extra letters for no this idea. one. Which is the deep fried burger topper now has an I after the N. Um, which immediately doesn't help me. Torkel Zenith, which would be the high point. Uh, oh, neighbor to Wyo and Ore. I didn't notice. Oh, Wyoming and Oregon. Uh, what is, wait, Wyoming and Oregon. What is Is it? I have is no clue. Washington? No. Pretty sure it's, not, wait, am I even in the right corner? Oregon is between Washington and California, I'm thinking of something else. IDA, Idaho. Idaho, yeah. Uh, curtain calls are apparently encores. Um, Croatia was the country with Zagreb. I'm um, sorry to our easy Croatian cheer. Um, easy chair is the comfy piece of furniture, which I'm pretty sure is like a very specific thing, but okay. Uh, Air Lingus oh. is the Irish carrier. Calculate. Uh, I'll calculate and ta tally it up, which is three words. Um, Great. Pitching lineups or planetary spins are rotations. That should have been gettable. Yep. I did not realize uh, pitching is... It w was used in that sense. It's a baseball thing. Um. Yeah. Onion ring is the deep fried burger topper, which is obviously the very first thing I think of when you say burger. Obviously, onion rings. Everything Definitely. Them. Um. Uh, the older brother of glowing is oin. Mm. Phrase. Oh, the giddy up is the the horse thing. The the to make the horse go faster. Where to find the charges? In court. At least say two words. Okay, so American crosswords or generally English speaking crosswords have the tendency to sometimes have multiple words in their answers. That is not entirely unheard of. A lot of them have the decency to at least denote it when they do that. Uh, German crosswords, for example, I don't think ever do that. And if they would, they would definitely note it. Yeah. But like, because German words just tend to be long, which is fine. I don't mind that English crosswords do it, but sometimes that makes it a bit difficult to come up with the answer if I don't know that I'm looking for two words. Like, for example, I literally wrote court. But it's in court. I mean, it's not that unreasonable, but still. Like, at least say that's two words. Uh, keep out is yeah. no entry. Again, two words. Uh, yeah. Apparently, light duty, also two words, is work that isn't particularly heavy or demanding, which I guess it's gettable. Edo is the old name of Tokyo. Um, Real. Yep. Play the introduced the word robot is Rur. R-U-R. Um, sluggish, listless is lethargic, which I guess is gettable. Uh, neighbor of Wyoming and or Oregon is Idaho. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that. Uh, historical Zenith is the Golden Age, which was the best of times. 
a Street Fighter character, I which guess admittedly that's I, gettable, yeah. is the one that I apparently didn't see when I clicked through these, because some of the short ones were a bit tricky to navigate to. That That is on me, though. Who's Ryu? I could have probably yeah. even gotten that. Um, which wouldn't have really helped us. I guess it would have given us a letter for the... What's, what's the other short one? Uh, what? Uh, Idaho? No, no, the, 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 the one left to you. Trend the Resonor Band is NIN, which I believe stands for Nine Inch Nails. Um, but still, I hmm. would not have known that, because the only, th- only reason why I know Nine Inch Nails is because they uh, were the original artists who performed the song Hurt, which has been famously covered by Johnny Cash, and the Johnny Cash version is really good, and the Now Channels version is eh. Um, oh, <laughs> Kalulis is unaware, which is fair enough. That was gettable. Oh, yeah. Barbuda's partner is Antigua. Antigua and Barbuda. It's a country. Um, I am hey, once again offended by this. Why? Earache. Oh yeah, I, I thought you were by Antigua. I was like, what, what was it about Antigua? No, no, uh, no, yes, no, no. The pain from a loud noise is an <laughs> earache, which is a word that I've had, that I've never heard anyone say in my entire life. Now, granted, not a native English speaker, I don't hear English all around me all day, but still, right? Like, my vocabulary is rather extensive, and I've never heard that word. I'm not saying no one uses it. Earache. I mean, I, I would have given you a headache. Come on. Right, like, that also can result from a loud noise. Not necessarily, but I, like, I don't know. Uh, apparently the song is called Smelly Cat, uh, the one from Friends. A silent ascent is nod. Yeah, I mean, ascent is an agreement that does kind of make sense. But, uh... Hey. Uh... Plays Andy Bernard on the office is Ed Helms, whom I don't know. Uh... We already said easy chair. Yeah, I think we got all of them. Yep. I was a shit show. We got 49% of the possible score. The uh. average score is 80%. Meaning that people are not as Damn. bad as us at this. This one was a bad one. We we have actually had good ones Apparently. before. Apparently, um, 38.9% of people actually... I can put this up, actually. I could have put this up all the time. Uh, 38.9% of people got every single point. Damn. That is a lot of points. And apparently it could, the percentages go continuously to sit down until you hit the very last one, which is where it goes slight up again. Anyways, um, second topic. Which is to say first topic, but like more. But extended. First topic, extended edition. Uh, no, I mean, that, that makes, extended edition makes it sound like we're also including everything first from the topic first topic. First topic two, electric boogaloo. Yes, there we go. More like first topic six, but um True. Uh yeah, um, uh, was it two topic too furious? Um that's not even a good reference. Um <laughs> Yeah. What, what is a famous person I would like to meet most? Uh Vladimir Putin. I guess. <laughs> but kind of not, not really. I mean... <laughs> don't really have anything to discuss with this guy. I mean, fair. I, I just couldn't come I mean, up with a better answer. Be like, 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 if it would just only be for bragging rights. Like, that, that's it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I genuinely don't have a better guess for you. Yeah, um... I mean, I don't really have any idea myself. Um, I th- I thought like basically any famous person that has like similar interests to me and has like mostly famous in terms of like streaming and or YouTube, like internet celebrity. What what Sergey is saying is he doesn't care about famous people. He just wants to meet someone to be friends with. Not really. I was actually <laughs> gonna. Um, oh yeah, you. What? Um, 
You were gonna tell me who your favorite Beat Saber streamer is. I forgot is. the word. Uh, no. I am already in close contact with that guy. Uh... Fair enough. Yes. Um, no, I'm talking about like actually like mainstream, bigger streamers, YouTubers, whatever. Mostly to like get like at least like maybe some part of their audience to promote my own stuff, basically. Oh yeah, so guys, YouTube channel, by the way, I think I might have even put a link in the description. Or maybe not. Oh yeah. They should hopefully be one. YouTube channel. So he also has a Twitch. I have not uploaded in like over a year. Uh, yeah. I do actually stream more often than I upload videos. Fair enough. So, yeah. It does happen rarely there. So, so uh, did you do want to name anyone in particular regular streams that you wanted to meet, or just generic answer? Uh not really. I, uh, I have no idea. Just yeah, I guess generic person. Then the question is, what famous person would I most like to meet? Hmm. I don't know. I'm Probably a something it's not similar. <laughs> I mean, though, it, it would be quite awesome, Bregan writes, to say, I have personally met Vladimir Putin. I cannot currently imagine a realistic scenario under which I would meet Vladimir Putin that would end up with me being alive. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it feels like, I mean, I, I get like similar vibes to like the Mafia <laughs> boss, right? But it's like, if, if you meet, if you meet yeah. the boss man, then you're either working for him or you're going to end up six feet under. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of benign I reasons guess. to meet Putin. But, like, realistically, me as a random civilian would have no reason to meet Putin. Especially as a random non-Russian civilian. I mean, I, of course, would like yes. to meet doesn't mean it should be realistic necessarily, but anyways. Still, I don't... Anyways, uh, it's okay. Yeah. I don't know, probably something similar to what I had... have... Mostly for the same reason. Uh, yeah, I, I also I'd couldn't say. come up with anything specific. <coughs> I would have also just said, um, I, I would have thought, not necessarily someone who I can leech off of, though that, of course, that was a great idea, but I was thinking, um, since I was not necessarily thinking that it would happen by necessity on, like, on video or something, just like, if it is a private meeting, I didn't necessarily directly profit from that. Um, I was just thinking also, like, oh, yeah. what would I get a use out of? Is basically the question. I couldn't come up with any, anyone in particular, but yeah, someone I could learn something from, right? Like, oh, yeah, that, that angle too, yeah, that, that, that's. And I guess the good. most useful thing for me to learn would probably also be something like YouTube related or something, so I'm gonna give you the point for that because I think your angle makes the most sense. What is one thing I cannot live without? Um, I think this one is gonna be really boring, because it's gonna be the same thing for both of us. I can't wait to hear your answer. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. Our PCs. I guess in your case, your PC. For me, my PC. I'm gonna or say your answer totally is wrong. <laughs> um. Oh, <laughs> how'd you guess? Because you literally just told me before I had the chance to guess. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play this straight, and I'm going to go with what I wrote down for you, which is something else. Um, because oh. I wrote down the same thing for both of us, but it's not the same thing that you said. And that is, get Ooh. this, oxygen. Air. Yeah. <laughs> right, like, Obviously, this is not a question that's meant to be literally that taken that seriously, but that is how I would ask for the question, so that is my answer for the question. Um, because let's face it, right? I could live without my PC. Uh, I, since I have gotten it, I have never spent more than maybe a week or two without it, by virtue of spending most of my time at home, but I have managed to spend quite an extended period of time, like, smaller vacations and stuff without my PC and I could totally do that as a matter of fact I could literally if I absolutely needed a PC I could just get a different one right um and yeah so I was thinking about this right 
I don't think there's anything in particular that I couldn't live without, except for the things that I biologically cannot live without. Obviously, we could go a bit more generically and say something like the internet. It's like, it would probably be very different to live without the internet, but I could do it, right? Like, Yeah. There are some I mean, how about, here. like... <laughs> I guess, but it's, like, so cumbersome. I mean, I think... To actually search up something in there. I think your life wouldn't necessarily even be that much worse without the internet. It would just be very different. I think there's a lot of negative things to be said about the internet. And while using it very intentionally yeah. and for specific purposes can definitely alleviate that a little bit, there are definitely still a lot of bad factors as well. Um, I would tend to actually disagree. Like, I would think that life, just like average... Um, what, what, man, I'm, I'm, I keep forgetting words that I'm about to say. I mean, the global impact of the internet is probably in that positive. Um, yeah. Um, the question is the, the impact on individuals, especially ones that are already in relatively good situations, right? Where it's like um, people from m- minority groups that have been historically discriminated against have had a better chance to unite and to fight injustice and, and so on and so forth. But um, for one, for someone like us, you know, straight white men, um, <laughs> uh, the cultural impact has been a lot more neutral and the individual impact uh, is really like, oh yeah, source of information, source of entertainment, but there's also still negative psychological effects. I, again, I try to stay away from those sort of things and, you know, whenever you yeah. go to Red End, you realize it's two hours later. Uh, that, that can't be a good thing. I Again, I try to avoid that, but uh, every now and again, I do end up... Yeah ending up there anyways it does happen um way more often than i'd like to admit right yeah like so i mean you you can definitely say that especially for us not necessarily being that active on like the traditional social medias and that sort of thing a lot of the negative effects of the internet are not nearly as strong on us than on others like for example uh the whole like body image stuff and like generally like the life stuff where it's like oh my life is so bad compared to these people on instagram it's like yeah obviously right there Cherry picking what they're sharing. Yep. Uh, their pictures are literally manipulated. Uh, a lot of their shit the stage, right? Like, hey, I'm a millionaire at age 20. It's like, yeah, you have a rented car and uh, you freaking rented a million dollar apartment to shoot some video footage in there. You are not a real millionaire. And even if you were, that doesn't the, mean that your life is perfect. It's like, mm. The thing is, um, there's even been like more studies done about in relation to that and it actually turns out you your brain psychologically like drives you towards seeking out that content even if it's like psychologically bad for you you are still drawn to actively search out that content i can see that but that does not mean that just because you search it up does not mean it's not still harmful yeah it is super harmful. Don't get me wrong, but like, it like not only do people filter the, their lives in that they only show like the very best stuff, but you are also drawn to actually actively look at that. Interesting. Which mm. is really really bad. I would say that I personally am not that much, but um. I don't know. I mean, I feel like most of the time when I look at someone, at, at people that are like more successful specifically, it's usually more when there's like videos like, oh yeah, like how you can like, you know, oh, to become rich in five easy steps. No, I mean, you know, but like the sort mm-hmm. of content, which usually ends up being bullshit anyways. It's like, oh yeah, like, oh yeah. I love the students where it's like, um, like 10 easy steps like money online. It's like, and it all boils down to have an already existing platform that you can exploit. It's like, yeah. Great. That's yeah. very helpful for me. Thank you. I mean, I, I do have a platform like that. Let's not pretend I don't. I mean, there are 3,000 people subscribed to Trash Can TV. But, like, that's not a model that I can live off of, even if I do employ all the tricks in the book. Right? No. Like, and your tips don't help with that. And uh, a lot of that. But I, I do like sometimes like watching that sort of stuff because 
even if a lot of it is not realistically applicable to me, it's still, I mean, now again, there's something where it's like, oh yeah, I, I can do this, I can do that. Like, like even just some ideas to like spit on your own brain and come up with something useful. Some ideas to... Oh yeah, yeah. Like if this YouTube like channel basically grows bigger, brainstorm kickstarters. Yeah, uh, like if this YouTube channel gets bigger, there are ways I could additionally monetize it. Also, it, like I could do this, I could do that, and just a lot of stuff to keep in your in the back of your brain. But I don't ever really like search out those where they're just about bragging about their great life and stuff, like lifestyle bloggers or vloggers. Either way, really, um, I I never really had the desire to search that sort of content out. So in fact, I've always kind of stayed away from it. I maybe would not have stayed as actively away from it if I didn't know about the negative impact I can have on your mentality, even though, of course, being aware of it probably is already oh, yeah. a mitigating factor. But I still, despite that, never actively would have sought it out, I think. I would have maybe not avoided it as much, but I don't know. It's the second question of this topic, and <laughs> we should probably get a bit further. I'm going to say no points for anyone. Um... <laughs> yeah, uh, we we got the Sounds part fair. right where we're basically very similar, but also we ended up answering the question very differently, nonetheless. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I love this question. Um, <laughs> Sergey, do I prefer a dress or a skirt? Interpret that question however you like. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I remember we have discussed this extensively. <laughs> but I do not remember <laughs> what the result of this discussion I, was. I'm not sure if we've specifically discussed dress versus skirt. I know we've discussed stuff like like dress did life, also skirt versus pants that. sort of thing, which I yeah. I don't want to say I have a stronger opinion on necessarily because like fucking hell dresses however you like, but I for myself personally I'm wearing neither. Um, and I have the feeling just based on that question, I have the suspicion that maybe. These questions were written with women in mind. I don't, or, or I guess oh in this boy. case it's actually one where we're reasonable to say girls, uh, because I don't know how many grown ass people do this. Um, but, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I assume it's intended as like wearing for yourself, but obviously for us, I guess it would be more judging off of aesthetically liking on, I suppose for the most part, women. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, what do I prefer? Dresses or skirts are gay? I do not remember. Um, I'm gonna go with the... Ah, uh, dresses. I would say that is correct. Uh, as a matter of fact, that is how I've written it down. Ooh. Um, the thing is, right, first of all, big difference, right? Like, Skirt dress, like, mm -hmm. it's kind of the same thing. I, I know, I know it's not, but, like, it's it's similar, right? Um, and then, second of all, it's, like, the context, right? I, because dresses, I, you can really... They're just more flexible, I feel like, because I can't really think of situations where, in, like, yeah. a formal context would wear a skirt, right? Like, I mean, okay, yeah, no, I guess, like, mini skirt, business sort of... There, there are formal skirts. Yeah, more, like... I feel like dresses are would be more common in formal settings, for example. And be, I think that so this partially relates to the fact that in a more casual setting, I would aesthetically speaking, just prefer pants probably. So um not yeah. generally that, that big on like the whole dress skirt situation. So that is one of the reasons why I would probably tend to dress. And then also just thinking, like just going mentally through images of, you know, dresses and skirts and whatnot. I would say that generally I would tend towards more dresses. Um, I'm gonna guess because I have no clue, and so I'm gonna guess that your answer is skirt. Uh, yeah, I do actually slightly prefer that. <laughs> Though, like you said, uh, dresses are much more flexible. You can wear dresses in much more different social situations than you would a skirt. Okay, you know what the best part about this whole thing is? What? You could totally wear a dress as a skirt. Right? Like, I mean, it depends a little bit on the dress. Some dresses are a bit puffier on the on the outside as well, but like, a lot of dresses, yeah. you could probably just wear something over it, like a blouse or a sweater or whatever. A sweater would be a bit weird. But, but like, you could probably wear something over a dress and use it like a skirt, but not vice versa. 
I guess. I mean, vice versa would basically just be running around topless with a skirt, which I'm not necessarily objecting, but um, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of not the point of high fashion necessarily. Okay, yeah. Maybe not high fashion, maybe um, I, I get your idea, your point. Um, yeah. Okay, it only gets weirder from here. Because <laughs> while we certainly can talk about our preference in women's fashion, uh, despite the fact that it's not 3 a.m. yet, um, <laughs> I mean, I feel like that was fun, though, when yeah. we did that. But that's a whole different story. It, it was fun. <laughs> I mean, we spent, like, the whole night just talking about women's fashion. I, I think, like, literally from, like, <laughs> 3, 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. or something. <laughs> like, something crazy like that. I think we... Did we even start, like, earlier than At 3 a.m.? I mean, we, we we went over a whole spectrum of things. Um, I feel like... Yeah. I, in theory, I should have a very good grip on Sergei's taste, both in women and their fashion. And vice versa. <laughs> uh, well, vice versa, as in he should know about me, not I should know what women think about Sergei. Though, if you're a woman watching this, tell me in the comments mm. what you, <laughs> how do you feel about Sergei. <laughs> That's a totally normal question to ask. Um... Definitely. Okay, do I order <laughs> fried or grilled? And in what context is this uh, question being asked? fried. I mean, yes, but like, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I'm gonna say your answer is grilled, just because difference of opinion. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so, I... For those who have not seen the two preceding episodes, my strategy in these sort of questions, often as if I don't know, is to just give Sergey the answer that I personally did not take. Um... Which is why I gave him grilled. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I still don't know what exactly this question is alluding to, but I, I sure do like my fried chicken. I don't know. I usually prefer grilled variants of stuff more than the fried ones. I mean, I guess it's, yeah, I guess it's like the, the whole deep fried versus grilled thing, where it's just the, the main difference end up, ends up being the greasiness, which technically less grease better, yeah. but also... Less grease, generally drier. Um, I mean, I literally just answer fried based on the fact that um, I like my KFC, okay? Not a sponsor. <laughs> Though, hey. Yeah. The Colonel, I, but he has a name. Colonel Sanders, if you want to sponsor me, I'm pretty sure he's been dead for quite a while. But, you know, like, y'all go ahead and sponsor me. Like, I, I'm, I'm totally... <laughs> I'm just imagining this podcast... <laughs> With, like, an average of, like, half a viewer right now. Like, we've really dipped. Like, just, like, randomly getting sponsor spots. Like, oh, like, yeah, uh, if you yeah. advertise us on, like, every other episode for, like, 100 episodes, then you'll get, like, a dollar. <laughs> it's like, great, I'll do it. <laughs> that would probably Deal. still be relatively expensive. <laughs> if we're advertising over 50 episodes with, let's literally say, half a viewer on average, that's 25 viewers for a dollar. That's, I don't think that's even a good rate. Though I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I guess that's. I mean, uh, we still yeah, have to do songs, and uh, we also are. We definitely have been going for over an hour. As a matter of fact, I think it's like an hour ten ish, hour fifteen, something. Anyways, maybe. Don't don't. Wanna... Yeah, like hour ten ish. Um, who is my favorite actress so... slash actress? Not a very random question. I have no clue. I mean, I'm not surprised. Do you want to have a guess? Yeah. Like, like, literally, I could probably only name you, like, one or two actors or actresses in general. And based on I that... I have no clue. Based on that, and totally no prior prep... I mean, I, I literally wrote that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say... I, we're going to get to that point later, but I'm going to say... Uh, so, yeah, probably has none. Before yeah. I give my explanation, so I'm gonna just write down a point for myself there. Um, you said you said you don't know, which just means you're definitely not gonna any points. Um, I don't really have like a hugely strong preference, but at first I was like, I don't know, man. But then I, you know, with these sort of answers with the favorite questions, I generally try to think if there is someone I can come up with. And in this case, I thought about it a bit, and probably one of the actors who I've seen both the most overall and have seen in a variety of roles who I've always enjoyed 
uh, will probably be Michael Emerson. Michael Emerson. Wow. I don't think I said that very clearly the first time. Um, I have no clue who that is. So, uh, are you familiar, let's see, uh, let's go in order of relevance. Are you familiar with the show Person of Interest? Uh, nope. Really great show, can recommend he plays one of the main characters. Uh, are you familiar with... Okay. Oh, yeah, sure, let's, let's keep going by relevance. Uh, are you familiar with the show Lost? That was a that was a big one. Yeah. Uh, he plays Ben but, Linus, one of the uh, I think he's the leader of the others. Yeah, I, I have no clue. I have not seen that show. I, okay, I just that, am aware of it, its existence. That performance is probably the one I'm least sure about because it's been a while since I've seen Lost. But it, I like the person of interest a lot. And um least relevant as in smallest episode count, he's appeared in out of those three. Uh, I think he has a chance to play a minor role in Arrow, but I don't remember that one. Uh, is on a mm. relatively new show. Well, actually, a, a, code is, a show that is currently running. Let's not mix up my sounds. Uh, which is called Evil. Which I'm assuming you also don't know. Evil. Yeah, no. Uh, where he also plays no idea. one of the main antagonists. Well, he plays the main antagonist, arguably, in that show. Um, the only really recurring mm. one. Um... And that's also another great performance. I am not great at knowing when actors do their acting well. Like there's, I've I've watched shows where people are like, "Oh my god, the acting was so trusted." I'm like, I didn't really notice anything particularly bad. Um, but I think, first of all, again, just the fact that he's been in like three relatively major roles in shows that I've watched, uh, is already something that, of course, has leave some impression on me. And then the fact that I think all of those roles were characters well I mean I think I liked as characters not necessarily as in I would like them as people but I like them as characters but like for example the antagonists you don't necessarily oh, yeah, like yeah, as yeah. people but especially especially uh, actually that performance uh, as Leland Townsend on Evil um, I, I think it's quite effective let's put it that way he works very well as an antagonist okay. um, and so yeah that's just the only thing I could come that's up good. with uh is he, like, definitively, like, by far, by a huge line, my favorite actor? No. Right? But, like, if I had to pick one right now, that is probably the one I would go with just because of those three roles that he has played. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. One move on to... Oh, no, actually, uh, scores. Um, in the second half, which started with a celebrity question... Is that the one that we started with? Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, That's the one. That means we both got three points in the second topic. That means on the day, uh, we have... Well, I have... Uh, th- uh, well, yeah, then you have seven, I have six on the day. And... Oh. And you have 20.67 in total, and I have 24.58 in total. I assume we're in agreement with those numbers. No more discrepancies? Uh, yeah. Okay, great. That seems about right. Um, that brings us to... Songs of the Week. Sergey, what is your Song of the oh. Week? My Song of the Week is Popular Monster by Falling in Reverse. Okay. Okay. Um, not one hundred percent necessarily my genre, but um, definitely adjacent uh, to stuff that I do like. Um, I mean, generally, I I do tend to like certain metal genres. This has, I think, I think they call it new metal or something, like the the more rap like stuff. Not, I have no idea. Not as much my my thing. Um, I I would probably have to listen to the whole song to know if I like really like it or not. Like, I don't immediately oh, hate yeah. it. Let's put it that way. 
which is already a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, like for my song picks. I was about to say that that is C definitely because they tend to be pretty random. Yeah, that's definitely not the worst <laughs> thing I've ever said about one of your songs of the week. Uh, anything else you wanted to say about that? Uh, not, not really. No. Well, then that brings us to my song of the week, which is Warwick Avenue by Duffy. That is pretty cool. I do like that. That's good, because I like it too, and I don't have much else to say about that. Uh, I, I feel like I've heard that before, but I might just be imagining no, that. No, that, that's, that's very possible. I feel like that used to be one of those that used to play on the radio every now and again. Probably back around the time when it first came out. I don't know hmm. when exactly it came out, but it's very. Po I, it's, I'm assuming during our lifetimes. Um, but you could have just said during your lifetime. Because that includes my entire lifetime. Which is just another Ooh. really weird way of saying I'm older than you. <laughs> I mean, if I'm older and we're both alive, that's by yeah. necessity the case. But anyways, if you enjoyed this episode of the Trash Talk Podcast, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a dislike. Some people might even be able to see that. Um, I, I can still see dislikes, by the way. Like they said, they were going to get rid of dislikes uh, publicly if I yeah. for people. Like, a couple of weeks ago. And apparently they've are rolling it out slowly, like, as in, not everyone gets it right away that they get disabled, which, why? I don't get it. Yeah. Uh, but for, for me, like, I still see them. Um, you, you still see them? Yes. I mean, like, not on your channel, but, like, other channels? Yeah. I still see dislikes. Oh, okay. I have not been able to see dislikes for a couple of days now. So, interesting. I, I, I'm sure it'll eventually come to me as well, but uh, thus far I've been able to see dislikes. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, I mean, I, I will be able to see your dislikes on this video anyways, uh, because uh, you clearly watched through over an hour of this and then decided to not like it. I mean, I guess fair enough, right? But, like, if I didn't like it, I yeah. probably would have clicked off before the end of the hour, but who knows? Um, what was I gonna say? Right, uh, uh ladies, leave us a comment about what you think about Sergey, and, um, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the main channel if you want to see gaming content, and uh, join the Discord server if you want to talk to us or anyone in the community. Uh, Sergey. That's it. That's it.